Hey guys, what's going on? Big Country Scrapper here. I'm here with Rooster Scrapping. Uh, today we're going to be doing some gold recovery stuff. Uh, basically depopulating um, motherboards and uh, mid-grade boards, high-grade boards, stuff like that. Uh, because we don't really have an e-waste uh, buyer here where we are. Uh, we only get like five cents a pound for our e-waste. So yeah, um, basically what we're going to do is just depopulate and get any gold recovery so any gold corner bga chips ic chips flat packs um you know, let's uh, look at the motherboard here uh, again we got two gold corner bga chips um some ic chips on the side and uh yeah and then we got slot cards we got gold fingers crystal oscillators we're gonna get because they have silver content and uh, yeah, so, and then here we got the heat sink. We're gonna take out the aluminum heat sink by undoing the uh, little screws, um, and then take out the gold fingers and so forth, okay? But uh, I'm gonna leave you guys in the kibble of hands of Rooster, and uh, he will kind of show you as he goes along and does this. And yeah, so, take over, buddy. So we put the paint chisel on the edge so we can get under it then Yeah, that's not what you want to do because obviously we're losing all our gold. We'll go to this IC chip here. So basically, take your hammer, chisel. You guys see that? Top popped off. That's where the gold is. You still want to go after this bottom. Just give it a little... Pull up there, and there we go. So, we'll let him continue on and show you guys. So there's these little IC chips here. You want to take your chisel and you just want to scrape the edges where the prongs are. And that comes off easily. Make sure you show them the chip up to the camera. There's your IC chip. As you see, we just scraped the sides with the chisel and it broke that part and then we just pry the side off. Now, why do we take those off? Because inside there's gold on gold the inside. Gold bonding wires. There's gold bonding wires on the inside. Yeah. So we want to take all the IC chips off of all the boards so then we don't lose any gold. That's right. on this side so you guys can see you just scrape the chisel across the side Just take it, pry it off, and there's our IC chip. Okay. Now, uh, show them how to do the E-prong ones. These ones we have to scrape all the sides.
EEPROM right here. Oh, those ones. So to get these ones out, we just stick it in the hole on the side, and it should just pop right out, just like that. You can show them that. There's our EEPROM chip. All right. And now, let's show them how to do some gold fingers. Uh, okay. So for these, we want to take our pliers. Yeah. And just put it on the edge where the gold is. Squeeze down and just. And there are gold fingers. And there's a little green board on there. Very little bit. And that's, that's what you want. Because the more green board, the more the acid's got to work. So... Good. We put that in our gold recovery, and then with this one because it's longer, we just then we go to the next side. And then we just keep on moving along all the way down. Nice gold fingers. Now, on this board here, you see a little bit of gold still on there, so you want to make sure that you get all of that, but it's okay. Uh, Rooster's still learning. There is some chips on the back we can go after two down the road. Okay, do one more and show them. You just put it the opposite side where the gold is. There's that. Here's your gold fingers. And this one. There you go. Struggling. Board's small. Here, this one on the side. We got three gold fingers on that one. Gold foils. Oh, foils. Those fingers. Oh, no. Well, the finger is the actual piece. Yeah. Yeah. There's your good. There's your gold foils. All right. All right, guys. So Richard's still learning too. Um, I'm going to show you guys quick and easy ways just to kind of demonstrate and go over what he showed you. So, all right, we'll go back to the motherboard here. Let's move some of these tools out of the way. We'll move some of these boards out. There we go. So, IC chip here. It's You can use the X-Acto knife as well. The X-Acto knife will probably be easier. Just cut the one side of the legs off. There's four. So yeah, I'm learning too. Alright, let's uh break that off. There we go. If my Zacto knife would play nice. Alright. You have to loosen it. It is. Now it is. Yeah. So there's four legs on here. So you just want to cut three legs off. You can do all four if you want to. It's up to you. There we go. There's an IC chip. Okay. Now, I mean, you can go after these plugs as they do have gold pins in them. I normally don't, or if I do, I use a heat gun and I heat up the back side where the solder is and then they'll pop right off. If you don't have a heat gun, another way is just take your pliers and just pry. Okay. And it should, for the most part, which during this video is going to make a complete liar out of me. 
that's how everything goes. But yeah. Anyways, you can see down there, it's got some pins. Some of them are gold plated. But yeah, we'll show you that in a different video, how to recover gold pins. So that board is done. All right. Let's try to do this small board here. So we got a BGA chip here. We definitely want to get that. That's where our majority of our gold recovery is. So again, just putting the uh, paint scraper against it, giving it some taps. Again, easier if you use a heat gun, but you know, if you don't have one, this is another way, okay? And then uh, on here we have some MLCC, stuff like that if you really wanna go after for palladium and whatnot. Now this board here, because it does have some gold flashing on it, I'm gonna put that aside in our gold bucket as well, because that'll be processed as well. This here, nothing really on here. But we can take off this crystal oscillator. Just pops right off. Silver content. And there ain't really much on there now. So that can just go into low grade. And I can go to the tin shred. Alright guys, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this kind of helps you guys out. As far as uh, recovering some gold and precious metals. Out of your e-waste if you guys don't have an e-waste buyer. Um, but yeah. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified for the next video if you want to miss it. Until next time, keep scrapping, have a good day. Take care, everybody.